Okay, guys, I'm gonna give y'all a little update on my truck here. Got my mirrors mounted the other day. Pretty good. Uh, I found a bad ground on my line lock solenoid, so I put a new ground wire on it. And I hadn't tried it yet, but uh, I'm gonna do that because I want to turn this thing around and pulled into the building because they're calling for lots of rain starting Monday. Got some new chickies inside. I got my sun visors mounted. I'm still waiting on my radio. I bought another radio on eBay and I also found that air conditioning piece that runs over to here. And I bought it, so I'm waiting on those two pieces to come in before I put the diesel in and finish up the dash here. Had a good rain in about a month. And they call them for between two and five inches from this little tropical storm coming up through the Gulf right now. So I hope we get some of it. I don't really want I don't really don't want that much. Oh and I did put a I did get my uh clutch interlock switch installed but it feels like it's wanting to bind up and this damn wire is all in my way here. We'll see if that works. something put over the sun roof so it's entirely too hot. Uh thought about making a uh, piece of vinyl with some magnet sewed into it or something to stick up there. Once I get this dash in, I'll give you another video. And I don't really like how this dash pad turned out. This thing is bowing and warping in the sun. And I also missed a damn in install clip right here, and it's bucked up. These pieces here, like that one, it won't stay in. These these aftermarket dashes just ain't got the thickness of the factory dash. And uh, so, I am either going to have to get a dash cover for it to keep it from warping, or uh, figure out something else, I don't know. Anyway, the reason I'm parking this in here is because I don't have the roof drip. I don't have the drip rails put on yet. And there are some holes in the roof that I don't really want to get rain in. You know, leak down inside the cab. There's holes here. The other side's got them all up and down through there. But he, uh, the guy that did my paint when when he was 
putting bondo on he actually covered up these holes they ain't welded they just bondoed over so shouldn't be hard to find but the other side we've got a bunch of holes in it where it looks like some maze so uh, tried to put a little drip rail on in the wrong spot so anyway there's my drip rails i just got to get mounted get painted and mounted and uh yeah like i said i was gonna give you one more video once i get everything in i might do a video putting the radio in excuse me putting the radio in and uh because that's kind of a pain uh it's supposed to have a little brace on the back side that holds it up right i don't have one i'm gonna have to make one so we'll get that and also i'm thinking about taking one card time off loosening up the u-bolts and trying to manipulate that axle forward or backwards over here i'm gonna bring it back a little bit because it's rubbing on my front fender and over there i'm gonna try to bring it forward a little bit and see if we can't uh they don't like but maybe a half inch on each side probably clearing and if that don't work i just have to go with smaller tires i really ain't got the money for no frame work right now which i'm planning on going with 32s anyway these are 33s so i think with that i should have enough clearance that i'll be able to turn without rubbing on the back side i still got to put my bumper i got two bolts holding my bumper in right now it's it needs to go up it should set up you know be even with the bed there so i've got to put two more bolts in i'm going to have to drill the holes and then i've got to hook my wiring up for the lights and it should be done just another good evening but i've got a wasp nest around there somewhere i think it's behind this panel right here I see them flying out so i'm pretty sure it's up in that panel somewhere so other than that I'm getting my tires and wheels getting the front end alignment for the tires sticking out uh, the axle seems to be sticking out a lot further on that side other than that guys appreciate you watching and stay tuned I'm going to have some more videos on my baler because I've broke my damn drive shaft. I'm going to have to weld it up. And also, I finished baling for the year because we, we're not going to get another cutting this year. It's just been too dry. And so I'm going to do a winterization video on it. And I got this little project right here that Mama bought. Pulled behind her motorhome. Got it for 250 bucks. We've got new wheels and tires for it, and new straps for it, but she's wanting me to paint it, so paint it, and i got to check all the bearings and all in it, so that'll be another project video, till then guys, take care, and thanks for watching, if you need to subscribe, subscribe.